In this video, we're going to talk about scoring without the basketball. There are a couple of unique ways that forwards do this, and we're going to focus specifically on them. Those categories are duck-ins, cutting, rim running, and sealing off. Now you can also consider pop, roll, short roll, and slips a way to score without the basketball, but we're going to target those in a different video. Let's get started with duck-ins. For the duck-in, we're going to take advantage of a defensive philosophy known as being on the midline. You can see here that this athlete is on the midline and off of their man. So he's going to simply hit the man with his body, ducking in, giving himself a better scoring opportunity simply because the defense was not in good position. You'll see how this is really effective against the defense in the next clip. If we look in the paint, you'll see that the defender is pressing up on the post player, and that's because the ball is on their side. But when the ball crosses the midline, they let him go, and now he's able to swing in front and get position. For cutting, you're gonna have a bunch of different options. We're gonna start off with the split cut. The split cut is unique because the defense has to make a decision for how they're gonna guard the cut. Here you can see that the forward is actually gonna pop out and get a shot opportunity but it's not always going to be a pop. Here we'll see that the forward actually curls the split cut and gets a dunk. In addition, it's not always about you getting the ball. Here you can see that the forward actually drags the defense away from the guard so they can get a scoring opportunity. Let's check out these next two clips live so you can get a feel for them. Corver, Wade, Smith, Love, and Green. Oh, like to, oh. At the rim is Green. Seriously good work. What is their first round first round pick back in 2015? What 11 spots after Miles Turner? Another cut that you can use is the corner back door. When the guard is driving, you'll have that opportunity to cut from the corner to get an easy basket. But notice when they do this, they cut underneath the defense so they lose sight of them. The 45 cut is another useful cut to use. You'll notice that when the defense collapses, the forward is just going to cut in from the wing to the rim in order to get an easy basket. Next up is the blade. I really like the blade. It's very similar to a shake, where a shake you would just go from the corner to the wing, but for the blade you're going to continue that cut and actually curl it through to the paint. The last two cuts we're going to talk about are both slip opportunities. First up, we have a pin and slip. So we're going to set a pin down and then slip into the paint for an easy basket. And then lastly, we have the flare and slip where we'll see the forward set the flare screen. And when he does this, it's going to force the defense to communicate. And if they miscommunicate, that slip is going to lead to an easy basket. Next up, we have our rim runs. I love rim runs. If you can rim run, then you're probably going to get easy baskets. If you're not averaging around eight points per game, you could probably get eight points per game just by being a rim runner. A lot of the times defenses aren't going to rush back or they'll be out of position to run back simply because they were trying to rebound. Let's check out some more of these lives so this way you can see how easy it is to get buckets from rim running. The other way, corner Awet, short, Balak lets it go. Inside, beautiful pass by Lastly, we're talking about sealing off here. We're going to see the post player push his defender up the line to gain a positional advantage. Here, you're going to need your guards to be able to throw the ball over the top. So that's definitely something if you're a coach that you're going to want to work on with your players. But again, here we're taking advantage of a defensive philosophy where you're trying to front or mash down. So if you can use this to your advantage to gain position over the defender, it can lead to easy baskets. Let's check some more of these out live. Not healthy, and they look good at the end of the year. Oklahoma State looks like a quality team. The Sosa with Kanate on the bench. It has so far, Bob, but we have 16 minutes to go. Sosa seals inside and scores. Let's review. 
Some common off-ball scoring opportunities for forwards are the duck-in. These are great to use when the ball is being moved from one side of the court to the other. Cuts such as split cuts, 45 cuts, the pin and slip, and the flare and slip. Rim running or beating your defender up the floor. And sealing off where you push your defender up the line, gaining a positional advantage in the paint.